you enjoyed our little trip to Paris. We are heading now to Ireland for some fun in the beautiful green rolling Look at hills that. of Gorgeous. Ireland. It's so fresh. Yeah, everyone says it's green like no other green you will ever see anywhere else on the planet. So true. we're gonna make a little. Uh, you're gonna make a little stew with yes. Guinness. Which Guinness is, Irish stew. St. Patty's yes. Day is coming up. Guinness is a serious drink, yes, and it is. when St. Patty's Day comes around, there's gonna be a lot of that being served. You see, up. the French have their macaron days. Yes. Guinness has their St. Patrick's Day. That's right. That is the, 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 the Guinness day, Guinness. day. You got it. So, you know, in Ireland, they've got the beautiful green, the rolling hills. They've got all that gorgeousness here. We just sort of have this stuff. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have look. some fun with this while you make yeah, the Guinness. All right. You want me to put Stew. something on? I don't know. Can you do a stew with these? I can these? do anything. Yeah. Well, Jason definitely can. Oh, yeah. So you go with oh, yeah, these. There we go. Perfect. No, okay, so Guinness is one of those things. Can I, do I even fit in this shot still? Yeah, I do. Guinness See, is one of these things that you have to, you know, you have to pour it a certain way. Right? Don't you have to pour it a certain way? No, you do. Can take me you have to let anymore. it rest a little bit. You have to have the angle, and you, yep. it's supposed to rest for what? 120 <laughs> seconds. I I'm having a hard time. <laughs> I went to the brewery and had, I have the certificate because I learned how to pour the perfect pint. Did you brilliant. really? Oh, yeah. It was and brilliant. they give you a certificate? Yeah, a certificate and everything. Okay. Which I just wanted a pint instead of the certificate. Good, but <laughs> that's a good story, though. Oh, it makes great story, right? It's all about the education. Okay, well, let, it doesn't matter how you pour it if it's in a stew. How do we make the stew? Let's do the stew. Okay, do the so stew. we're gonna start with lamb, all right? And uh -huh. Jason made this tip a few weeks ago. And whenever you're searing something, you want to dry your, your meat off, and it's very important because we want a proper sear on this. You're not gonna do the Julia Child voice. Oh, well, you go do it. Make for sure there the you go. Dry. There you go. Hey, there, right? Yeah. <laughs> now, when I was in Ireland, we did a lot of, um, that's when we first started doing the, the nose to tail. So we would use the entire beast. So this is actually lamb, because I think if you're going to do an Irish stew with Guinness, it's got to be lamb. That definitely right? is so true. So this is a leg of lamb. And what I'm going to do today is, it's a little, I'm going to cut this, the chunks a little bit bigger. I know with most stews, people say, oh, about the size of a fork. I want it like twice that size, maybe three times that size. So when you get that chunk, you're like, whoa, yeah. that's aggressive. I like that. Let me see what you're doing there. I'll just right? put on my glasses. Know, you put your glass on. That's kind of like the Irish vision, you know, around five o'clock in the afternoon. You're not yeah. seeing quite straight. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> so, because we're doing a stew, we have to have some kind of thickening agent. Yeah. So a little bit of flour. Normally I don't cook with flour, but you know what? This is an exception. Tracy, yeah. you know your job. A little salt and pepper, Can please. <laughs> Can you see it? There it <laughs> is. In there, girl. I'm on it, chef. That looks good. <laughs> Maybe a little more. Pepper. A little bit more. You can't go wrong with that. Where's that sauce from segment one? <laughs> <laughs> so then, here we go. We got that smoking pan hot today. Oh, nice. nice. So, you don't want to overcrowd the pan either, right? So you want to have a nice little sear on there. Okay. Just leave that alone and let that kind of caramelize up. Nice. Smoke right? it up. A little darkness is all right. Mm -hmm. So let that just caramelize up a little bit. Now, the flour is also going to work as our thickening agent, right? Okay. You're starting to see the sear already. That's beautiful. How you want to go fast side down? How do you don't usually work with any flour? I just kind of do my normal reductions, right? Yeah. And so things reduce down, and that's where I kind of get my thickness. But today, because we're using Guinness, you really don't want to reduce the Guinness down too much because a beer, any type of beer, especially Guinness, is really quite bitter. And the more you reduce it, the more it's going to kind of be that, what is going on in my mouth? So we only want to reduce it by about half, which won't make our stew the proper consistency. You look really ridiculous well, with I can't those glasses see a thing. on. I you really know can't that? see a thing. Um, flour does make things really thick and heavy, though. And so that's why when you reduce things, you can kind of control the thickness. Mm -hmm. I like that better. Yeah. yeah. Is that better? Yeah. Yeah. So then all I did was I had a little bit of parsnip, celery, a um, little bit of these gorgeous look little pearl that. onions. Tip with these. I know nobody likes to use these because they're really hard to peel. Just put some um, hot water from your kettle on them for one minute. They'll peel, you won't cry, everything okay. will be great in the world, right? We should get the kids to do it. It's starting to smell We can do that too. So now, the secret ingredient. Good. You ready for this one? Let's do it. It's the Guinness, uh, everyone. We're not going to use it all. Good. I mean, oh. Because there's going to be a little bit, right? Uh, so now you can see it's starting to reduce. It's going to reduce by half almost immediately. Coca-Cola? You can put that in the glass for us. So you want to put pop Hear me in out. there? Hear me out. Oh, sure. Hear me out. Because the Guinness is a little bitter, okay. right, when you reduce it down, we need a little bit of sweetness. Oh. So instead of sugar, the two most favorite things in the world I like to drink. Bar bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Why not make a stew with it? Show us and when I used to do staff rails. meals at the restaurant, you don't want to use your proper beef, Demi. You don't want to use that kind of stuff because you need it for the proper cooking, not for the staff. Right. You use a little bit of Coca-Cola, and for some reason, it breaks down the, the, the tissues and the meat and makes it totally you know, tender. A lot I've of the heard old of classic, that before. Yeah. The like old it, classic sauces would make me coke. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's it's it. Uh, a lot of people use some kind of a soda for marinating because yeah, that's sure. what it does. It well, you, it down. you know what Coca-Cola does to a penny. Yeah. It's going to tenderize that meat. <laughs> <Right>? It's going to work. <laughs>
I think we have really shiny stomachs because we drink so much Coke, right? Here we go. Jason, you want to just give that potato a little bit of work? Yep. Maybe add a little bit of the milk there beside you. And nice. what the Irish are famous for is their potatoes. Yeah. Right? And the potatoes over there are just so beautiful and creamy and gorgeous. And just they add a little bit of milk, a touch of butter, and one last thing that they put in. I'm going to do a reach around on you. Right? <laughs> like this. And just tear this in. Roughly, ruggedly put it I in. I just love the idea of a champ mashed potato, and they mm. call this champ. And it really sounds cool, but at the end of the day, it's green onions and mashed potatoes. Oh, okay. No, it's champ. They call it champ? It's champ. It just sounds champ. so much better, doesn't it? Sounds like a winner. So our reduction here is going on. We added a bit of beef broth. We got our salt and pepper. It's the winner of mashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Reduce this. Two okay. hours, okay? It's the fumes, people. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's gonna Two tenderize hours? your yes. meat. It's gonna make everything about. perfect. <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna get wild. <laughs> and at the end of the day, what we've got here is a gorgeous thick stew when it all comes down. That looks and that amazing. Look great? Really? And what you're really looking for, I mean, if we get the back of a, of it a spoon. It smells really good too. Is you wanna dip your spoon in, and this is the consistency we're really nice. going for. Oh. Right? So if you, you take a look at the back of the spoon, thick. you can see your fingerprint across the back, yeah. right? So it's okay. a little thick. And now we're looking for a presentation, right? Yeah, you serve that up, chef. And you know what? You have to have those little tiny, teeny yeah. tiny little pots You don't at home. have to have little Come copper on, pots. They're so but you know, cute. if you have them, you got to use them, right? Yeah, if you I really love those. wanted to, and what I kind of like is I would just do the big pot right in the middle of the table. Yeah. Put the mashed potatoes on the side. I'm going to ask for quinella mash. Can you get that quinella for me, Jason? Mash. Very nice. We're going to get a little crazy. Yeah. This is for saran wrap. You can one hand quinella it. Oh, yeah. You what is that? that all about? What are you doing? A little football. We're, we're bringing the French to Ireland. That's but all. what's that called? Say it a again. Quinelle. A quinelle. Yeah, See? this is going to be a real rough quinelle. You got all, you got like all chefy on us. Right? There we go. And if you remembered, we it's put very nice. carrots and parsnips in. So mm. all we're to do, a little bit of crispy parsnips. And you have very to whistle cool. while you do that, right? Like that. Very nice. Right. Oh, my gosh. It it's just, I have to go. put my glasses on. It's there you go. So Make that St. Patty's Day. Have a good time. Citywine.ca for the recipe. We're going to break. More coming up. <laughs>